very first semester I had to take a ceramics course as an elective. And that was it. Bit by the bug. I've been doing ceramics ever since. My artwork is based off of botanical plants when I'm working on my sculpture. So when people see my biomorphic forms, they often know that it's my work just because I have particular shapes that are, are known in my work that I use over and over again for different parts of the plants. And so that visual, visual vocabulary allows me to define the work quite a bit. I think it can probably be helpful twofold. I think on an individual level, while you're in a creative mode or a creative process, you're very present, and, and ceramics allows you to really be in touch with the material, to learn to work with your hands, to be a maker, which is something that we don't have in our culture very much anymore with technology. I don't get very consumed by the fact that I might lose the piece. I, I have that idea that I might have to continue with another medium on that piece after it's fired, but I don't, I don't dwell on the possibility that it might get lost. So that frees me up. Oh, no, no, you learn that one. No matter what, everyone's got to learn that one the hard way. <laughs> I had a, a large um, four-foot sculpture fall off the table I was working at. I turned to grab a tool, and I heard the crash behind me, and it had fallen off the table and landed across three stools and was completely mangled. I think that my early days of, of not thinking I was any good at two-dimensional design came from being such a young artist. I actually started college at the age of 14. <laughs> I was bored, so I went to college. <laughs> and, uh, but I was, like, I was comparing myself to everyone else in the class, and, uh, and my brother was in the class too. I just assumed I wasn't any good. But, 14 for the one or two pieces my mother managed to save. It wasn't horrible. I mean, I had a lot to learn for sure, but I probably could have kept going in 2D as well. But when it comes down to it, I'm a maker. I love the process and the engineering behind clay. <laughs> Get a real job. I think all artists get that at some point, and um, you know, I, I think people don't understand what it takes to be an artist. You know, not only do I have to create my work and um, document my work along the way, I have to be my own business owner, my own marketing person, manager. Um, the job goes on and on. Um, at this point, my parents are a little bummed out that I worked so hard. Um, you know, and to stay current teaching, I'm always, um, you know, making sure that I know all the current technologies and ceramics as they come along to be able to teach those. So it is. It's a it's a long process and a lot of work, but in the end, it's a choice, and it's my choice to direct my life in this direction.